What's up everybody, Rob back. After a very, very long break, I apologize. It's been probably a year or two since I've made a video, but me and Paul have made a commitment for this year to make videos about whatever the hell we want to. And his first couple videos have gone up about action figures. And I just got back from seeing Kong Skull Island the other day and I just, I just had to talk about it. So let's start by saying that this movie is everything that the Godzilla movie that came out a couple years ago wasn't. It was colorful, it was fun, it took place during the daytime, the characters were one note, but you know, they were like cartoon characters, they were, they were one note in a good way, in my opinion. You could debate it, whatever, I liked it. But what it really did was just, this was a goddamn King Kong movie, King Kong is the fucking king, if you know what I'm saying. From the second he shows up on screen, he is the entire reason you wanna watch this movie. He is fucking huge, which is exactly what you want in a King Kong movie. He is the most charming character in the movie, the maybe not the funniest, John C. Riley's character is pretty goddamn funny. But goddamn, I had no idea that I would have been this freaking pumped about a King Kong movie in the year 2017. Uh, I mean, growing up, I was a huge fan of all the old Godzilla movies. I loved King Kong vs. Godzilla. I loved the weird 70s King Kong that is actually not that great, but I don't know, it had a giant monkey in it, so I was a big fan. And this movie is just everything I want in a big dumb monster movie. The cinematography is beautiful and fun. There's a lot of really cool camera movements. Every single character has their own just steal the show moments. It's just a big kaleidoscope of colors and giant monsters, and it was just so much fun. And I do not prepare any words for this video, but fun is the word that keeps coming to mind. And if this is the vibe that Warner Brothers is going to take for the future of this giant monster universe with Godzilla coming forward, and spoiler alert, I don't know why I did quotes, but spoiler alert, there is a post credit scene in this movie that teases the connection to Godzilla, as well as teases Rodan, Mothra, King Ghidra, Hydra, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, forgive me. But I was so goddamn stoked at the end of this movie that I was just, I want it now. And that's super funny because after seeing Godzilla a couple years ago, I left that theater being just devastated. I was like, there was nothing good about that movie. I mean, the special effects were okay, Brian Cranston was great, but that's like, I don't know, that's not enough to, to make me want to come back. Whereas this movie was just full on campy B movie with a budget that I could only imagine. And this is just what I want out of a giant monster movie. I want giant monsters. I want fun. I want ridiculous over the top gore that makes you laugh because what the hell's going on? I mean, just, to see this movie, trust me, if you like dumb B-movies, this is that, but with the budget of Batman vs Superman, and that alone should get you excited. And furthermore, this is just proof that Warner Brothers can see criticism or take criticism about the movies that they've done and correct the course. Godzilla came out a couple years ago, not that many people liked it. I'm sure it did great at the box office. I mean, I saw it. Godzilla's awesome. People are, are going to go see it. But this took that universe and basically turned the tone in a direction that I think is brilliant and I am super excited to see where this franchise goes. I mean, I guess there is more good stuff I could say about it if it was better in some ways, but that's not why I went to this movie. I wanted to see King Kong messing people up. I wanted to see Samuel L. Jackson being full on snakes on a plane, Samuel L. Jackson, and I don't know. Tom Hiddleston, handsome as hell. Brie Larson's charming as hell. John C. Riley is absolutely hilarious, and he is the best human in the movie by far. Just go see the movie. You will not be disappointed if you enjoy movies that are dumb fun. 